Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2013 Question 17 Grade 5 6 Contest, which also came up in the Grade 7 8 and 9 10 Contest. So the question is Eric says John lies. John says Tony lies. Tony says that Alex lies. Alex says that Pele lies. Pele says that Mark lies. Mark says that Pele lies. How many people lie? So we have two cases. The first case is that E for Eric is that Eric is telling the truth. And the second case is that Eric is actually lying. So forever, whoever lies, I will underline the first letter of their name. So let's start with case one, which is that Eric is telling the truth. So Eric says that John lies. So since Eric is telling the truth, we know that John does lie. Then John says that Tony lies, and since John is lying, we know that Tony is actually telling the truth. So Tony says that Alex lies. Since Tony is telling the truth, we know that Alex actually does lie. Then it says that Alex says that Pele lies, but since Alex is lying, we know that Pele must be telling the truth. And then Pele says that Mark lies. Since Pele is telling the truth, we know that Mark actually does lie. And then it says Mark says that Pele is lying, but since Mark is lying, that means that Pele is actually telling the truth, which is consistent because we already had Pele telling the truth. So we know this is a possible case. So in the first case, there are one, two, three people lying. So now let's look at the second case, which is that Eric is lying. So we would already start by underlining A, E for Eric. So Eric says that John lies, but since Eric is lying, we know that John is actually telling the truth. Then John says that Tony lies, but since we know that John is telling the truth, we know that Tony does lie. Then Tony says that Alex lies, but since Tony is lying, we know that Alex actually is telling the truth. Then, since we know that Alex is telling the truth, and Alex says that Pele lies, we know that Pele actually does lie. And now, Pele says that Mark lies, but since Pele is lying, we know that Mark is actually telling the truth. And then, finally, we have Mark says that Pele lies, and since Mark is telling the truth, we know that Pele actually does lie, which we already had because we had underlined P. So therefore, that is consistent. So in both cases, we have one, two, three people lying in the first case and one, two, three people lying in the second case. So we know that three people are always lying. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.